This week's Outdoor Icon Tip of the Week is brought to you by River Marine. And today we have Eric Carper with Whitetails Unlimited. He's going to tell us the difference between braided line and monofilament line. Eric, what's the difference between the two lines? Braided line first. Well, this particular line is actually made by Berkeley. It's called Fireline. It's actually a cloth material called Microdyneema that is all braided together to make a composite line. Okay. Um, it's, it's a cloth, basically very, very low stretch. And so that's the advantage of that. It's low stretch, therefore you don't get any, you know, uh, backlash or, or soft, uh, you know, when you set the hook kind of thing. Yep, you know, it's, the, it's direct response is basically direct what it response. is. Direct response, the lower right. the stretch. Yep. Monofilament. Monofilament, basically a plastic that is pulled through a machine and made into mono, monofilament line. Okay. Um, it can have high memory. It's very... It has a lot of stretch. It had tendency has a lot of stretch, and it's not as uh, abrasion resistant as Fireline is either. Okay. Now, when you combine the two, you got a nice rig. You have a Fireline uh, type braid where you have good contact and a tight contact with your with your bait when it's down under the water. But then you still have the monofilament for a little extra stretch, so you're not ripping the bait out of a fish's mouth. Yep. And the and the fish don't have a tendency to see it like they would a uh, like a, a braided line. line. Yep. Okay. Well, very good. There's the difference between braided and monofilament line. That's your Outdoor Icon Tip of the Week brought to you by River Marine. This Outdoor Icon Show Factoid is brought to you by First Metropolitan Mortgage. Stay tuned, the Outdoor Icon will be right back. It's now time for Cooking with Crystal presented by Jeff Crystal Catering. Here we are back at the dock. We have all this beautiful perch. There's nothing better. First of all, being outside fishing all day is awesome. Now what I like to do, and some of the other guys here are arguing with me about it, is I take the skin off. I don't like to uh, eat it myself. And all you have to do is take a quick knife and go downwards towards the skin, give it a slight little tug, and there the filet will pop right off the skin. Now that we have all of our uh, fillets, they're skinned, they're beautiful, there's nothing fresher than this. We're going to put a little flour with a little bit of Jeffrey seasoning crystals. And that's all you need for this. While that is happening, we're going to take a little bit of uh, oil uh, and put it in the saute pan. First I'm going to have a little white wine, a little chicken stock, a little chef seasoning, some fresh red peppers, basil. Tabasco, heavy cream, a little bit of oil we're going to put in the pan. This is a little bit of a different shore lunch than what you're used to. You got to think that once what we always talk about is the thickness of the product you're cooking, the peppers are going to go in first. All right, we're going to flip these around. Lay your fillets in. Keep the oil down towards the filet as you set them in the, the pan. So there we go, we got a red pepper sauteing. They're a little thicker than our perch. The perch are very small, the sweetest fish there is. As those are cooking a little more time, we have the filets of the perch in there. 
We're gonna give him a little shake. We're gonna give him a spread of Jeffrey seasoning crystals. Now what we're gonna do is take this, give it a quick flip. If you're at home, you got a little more time than I do. Turn them one by one. Let the wine reduce by half. That's a little bit of sherry. Make sure that that reduces. While that's reducing, we're gonna add our fresh basil in while we finish the sauce. A little bit of chicken stock. Now a little bit of heavy cream. Give a little bit of shake. We're gonna let that simmer, let the flavors incorporate. And that's it. That's all you gotta do for a quick lunch on the shore side. A lot of people do it fried, breaded. It's not a bad way to do it. It's not hard, it's quick. There's nothing like fresh perch. Now the sure sauce has guys. gotten down. We've taken the perch out. Just Got let the sauce reduce. You can see the body of the sauce is exactly the color of the peppers are coming out. The flavor of the basil. We're going to top the sauteed perch. Take it over to the guys and see what they think. All right, gentlemen, here it is, sautéed. It doesn't get any fresher than this. Lake perch with the red pepper basil cream sauce. And I'm only gonna give everybody a sample because I know how these guys are. <laughs> First guy in, the last guy's done on eating. Mmm. Oh. oh, yeah. That hits the spot. Well, we have another great show on here today on the Outdoor Icon Show. Lake Erie Perch. They're in season right now. They're all the way until snow falls. Until the ice is over and then you catch them through the ice. Yep, get them in the spring, get them in the fall. Come on up here to Ashtabula Harbor. We'll catch them everywhere from Connie out to Cleveland, all the way across the island, even to the island region. If you want to stop up here and make sure you, you come on in to River Marine. More for you. Of course. No, of I mean, course. Not that I'm saving. If you, don't, <laughs> if you don't have anyone that has a boat you can hop on, check with the, some of the charter captains around here. You have River Marine you can check with. They have charter captains that you can hook up with. And just at all the marinas around town here, you can, you can get in touch with Drive them. straight up to a Route 11 until it ends. Hook a left, go across the drawbridge. Hook your first left and right along, anywhere in there along the river you'll find us. So until next week. Have, have a, a great, great outdoors, outdoors experience. experience. I'm not used to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm used to that mono trick. Oh yeah, look at that guy. These are all nice. Easy. Oh, he just, just burped up at me. Literally. Oh, he just regurgitated, look at this. He just spit up all these minnows. Oh, look at all that. Ugh. That's good, that's a jump. Get fired up down there. There's a swim bladder. <laughs> <laughs>